the same change strategy for subtraction is one that's very helpful when you have a whole number to the thousands, hundreds, millions, etc. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with 600 minus 342. Well, at first thought, it seems like you would have to regroup a lot of things to be able to subtract your ones and tens. So one change that we can make is we can subtract one from 600 and get 599. But whatever change we're going to do here, we have to do the same change to both numbers. Therefore, we're going to have 342 minus 1 as well. What that does is it keeps the difference the same, but it prevents us from having to regroup each place while still being able to reach the same difference. So now that we have 600 minus 1 is 599, 342 minus 1 equals 341. It's the same change for both numbers. Now what we can do is subtract those numbers. So we have 599 minus 341. Well, 9 minus 1 and 90 minus 40, there's no regrouping necessary. Therefore, we get 258. And it makes it much simpler to be able to do this than try to regroup each place and know where to put what and that type of thing. Because here we're understanding that if we make the same change, we still get the same difference and we still reach the same answer of the subtraction question. However, we're making it much simpler on us, using our numeracy skills to help us understand how to solve subtraction problems. So that's the same change strategy for subtraction.